What's going on guys? It's me Jiggly and I am back with another block spotlight for you. Mod tutorial on the mat on the fluid transposer from thermal expansion. Let's learn something new. <laughs> Right, guys so starting it off we have our little yeah that that's a little more advanced I'll show you that in a minute <laughs> um, fluid transposer from thermal expansion we 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 got to know how to craft it it's rather important so let's go ahead and take a peek at that real quick on the crafting grid here we have a bucket in the top two pieces of glass it can be all kinds of glass but yes basic minecraft glass will work machine frame two copper gears and a redstone reception coil and you get this beautiful thing right here called a fluid transposer so just like all other thermal expansion blocks it's got multiple or the same GUI interface for the most part uh, energy it's gonna burn 40 RF per tick and it can store a hundred and twenty thousand RF at its internal buffer system here uh, yeah information for it of course fills or empties things that hold fluid Click the button to change fluid and fill and extract modes. Typically reversible. Yeah, for the most part it is, guys. I'm not gonna get into it in full detail as to what's not, what is exactly, but it is. Uh, augmentation here, shift for details. It's gonna show that it comes with a standard three, and that's the automatic transfer out redstone control settings and being able to reconfigure uh, the fluid transposer itself. There's our redstone. I of course have it disabled, and our configuration. So it is in a yellow red format. You can change it to orange if you like, but we have a primary, secondary. So let's go ahead and show you. Uh, so you can put fluid in right now, and I have it in fill mode. So now there's 2,000, 3,000, and 4,000 right there. So now if we say toggle fill, it'll go over to toggle empty. Now it's going to empty them. Okay. So now it's going to fill. Boom. Look at that. Now we get destabilized redstone back in our bucket. I pull that bucket out as soon as I do, and there's another bucket, it automatically replaces. So now we have all three buckets back. If I was to put one more in, we will, of course, empty the uh, fluid transposer and have four redstone buckets, uh, uh, destabilized redstone buckets. So what I have here is uh, it's kind of a setup that you can do, okay? Uh, it's interesting if there is a way to make endless RF if you have enough and you use Ender IO with thermal expansion and that gets detailed but if you're watching in my Quigley craft series uh, I do have a setup right now where I create roughly 840 RF per tick without uh, using anything but created blocks so right here we're using the lava fabricator you also need mine factory reloaded but this one essentially takes power creates lava and of course we have endless power with that block uh, and it, it's piping the lava out and we have a full lava uh, lava storage here so let's watch as soon as I take this out that's gonna empty it's already filled like that pressurized line right there is just moving so many so we're filling lava buckets up and then what you can do is you run a um, extraction point pretty much with the lava bucket you use lava as a fuel source for the Ender IO Sterling generator and it will make the default one will make just enough power to break even with the lava fabricator but if you give it one capacitor upgrade it starts to make excess power with that bucket and yeah you just need a way to store it you need a capacitor bank essentially but um, this this fluid transposer is I mean, it's the, it's the way to get the gelid cryothelium. You can get the liquid uh, blazing pyrothelium fluids. You can get the uh, destabilized redstone. You can get the illuminated glowstone stuff. It is amazing. Uh, and it's, it's needed, truth be told. Especially if you want to cool like the big reactor, if you're playing with the big reactor, which is in most mod packs. Um, you're you're going to need a fluid transposer, guys. It, and it's, it's, it's beautiful. You just switch it, fill it, or empty it. It's that simple. Um, and we could do this for days, but you could literally have it export and run a or run a bucket cycle, and then kick buckets out of lava, and uh, use them for what you need. <laughs> so that's been the fluid transposer. I hope it's been helpful for you. If it has, hit that like button, guys. And uh, yeah, don't forget to share it with your friends and family or anyone else that plays Minecraft that might not be 
exactly sure what it is, what it does, or how it works. But that's the uh, that's the basic crash course on it. It's like all other thermal expansion blocks as far as its GUI user interface. It allows you to fill and unfill buckets of liquid in a controlled environment. You don't have to just put them down as a block in a hole and store it. <laughs> you can store it all within the fluid transposer. Uh, it is key to note, though, that it only takes one, I believe. Um, let's let's try it real quick. Let's fill that in there. I believe it'll only take one. Yeah, it only takes one type of fluid, though. So you would have to put it into a tank if you wanted to store your stuff in a tank. But you could do that. So, again, thank you so much for watching, guys. And as always, take care.